First up is Ion Launcher, which is lightweight, fast, and ready to boost productivity right out of the box. The launcher's superpower is its adaptive home screen, think calendar events, notifications, and even music controls, all showing up when you need them. It automatically organizes your app drawer into categories, which is also pretty cool. And you could still access all your applications. Plus a search button with fuzzy search built into it, you can search for contacts, files, applications, and more all from here. And for customization, it is simple and ergonomic. You can tweak foreground and background colors, switch icon styles, and even add widgets. All while keeping the layout easy on your fingers and muscle memory. And it's open source, which is also a win in my book. It is minimal, elegant, and super fast. And so if you like blending style with practicality, Ion Launcher is a solid pick. When it comes to Android launchers, you've probably heard about Nova Launcher, Niagara Launcher, or even Launcher. Great options, but today we are skipping the usual suspects. Instead, we are diving into some great yet lesser known launchers that blend productivity with minimalism. Next, we have Ratio Launcher, and this one is all about focus and mindfulness. Ratio first gained popularity for its refreshing take on minimalism and productivity, initially available by invitation only. Ratio organizes everything into two core elements, conversations and tiles. For conversations, it pulls all your messaging applications into one place, WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram, you name it. No more jumping between applications to check messages. And then there is tiles, a minimalist grid that auto-categorizes your applications into productivity, finance, entertainment, and more. You can also set time limits or lock applications for extra discipline. And for bonus features, it comes with custom widgets, including weather, notes, and even a timer, all accessible with a swipe. And the interface is clean, dark, and distraction-free. And Ratio even includes focus mode for those moments when you really need to get stuff done. It is a premium launcher with a free trial, so give it a spin if you are serious about cutting distractions. Next, DNA Launcher takes personalization to a whole new level, and it's called DNA for a reason. Your setup is meant to reflect your unique style, that is what this launcher is all about. The launcher offers multiple layouts from a classic horizontal scrolling home screen to a holographic 3D spin mode. And customization runs deep, you can change the icon packs, shape, fonts, and even lock folders within folders for an added privacy. It is a playground for gestures too, you can double tap, swipe, you name it, all fully customizable to control how you navigate. And one standout feature is the alphabetical indexed app drawer with search capabilities that are lightning fast. And so if you want a flexible, highly configurable launcher, then DNA is your match. And if you want a lightweight, fast and efficient launcher, Yeni Launcher is the next up on the list. And its key feature, a unique slide panel that is a one swipe away, giving you quick access to widgets, shortcuts, all which you can add by yourself, and then all your applications. The app drawer is also smart with categories and a clean vertical scroll, plus smooth navigations that feel fluid. You also get a great search feature when you swipe down on the home page, and you also get an icon pack support, customization options, everything you expect from a good launcher. And this one's strength lies in its balance of simplicity and power. It is minimal, fast, as I mentioned, and surprisingly robust for how small it is. Flow Minimalist Launcher is one that tackles problems of mindless scrolling head-on. The layout of this launcher shows only your 5 favorite applications and you can also enable 10 favorites in the settings. The home page also has a screen time indicator and a focus mode that cuts down distractions completely. And you can try changing the wallpaper from the default dark to a custom one but you have to upgrade. But a dark background that's it for me. Swipe up for an app drawer organized by categories, you also get the search bar added on top. And Flow also brings built-in productivity widgets like a to-do list and calendar. Plus, you can add more custom widgets if you like. And yes, it shows screen time for every application. And the design philosophy of this launcher, it is minimal at its finest, less clutter and more focus, and better control over how you use your Android smartphone. And for the speed junkies, meet Molecule's launcher. And this one is very lightweight, it's around 250 kilobytes, and that's right, it's less than a megabyte and never connects to the internet, so your privacy is bulletproof. And here is the twist, instead of swiping, you type to search, just a few letters, and then boom, your applications, contacts, or settings appears instantly. Monikos is also smart, it learns your habits, so recent searches show up first. And it has a double tap to lock feature, using Android's accessibility API without collecting any data. It is simple, fast and private, and perfect for Android users who love speed as well as a minimal home screen. 
And finally, we have Focus Launcher, and the name says it all. This one creates a distraction free environment when you need it the most. It's not a full time launcher, instead, you can switch to Focus when you want to cut distractions. It hides everything but the essentials, and when you are done, you just revert to your regular layout. It also comes with themes, privacy features, and no data collection. The first three days are free, then there is a one time payment for lifetime access, no other subscriptions. So, 7 launchers that balance style, productivity and minimalism, I bet you won't go past these if you seek full customization, privacy, speed or just a cleaner home screen. Comment below which one you would love to have as your main launcher and also consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed the video and as always, thank you for watching.